Welcome to Red's Packs, the same show that day to day strives to provide you political information that is correct, 100% accurate, and unbiased. God help me if that's true. Well, guys, today we're tackling a particularly easy effect, but it's our 15th episode. Can you believe it? We've done 15 of these episodes. That's both scary and at the same time quite pleasing. So today we're doing. Ned, you know, full of nonsense, that guy. Anyway, as I was saying before I got interrupted, we're doing it. Today, guys, we're tackling a request from St Stefan, Stefan, Stephen. I'm sorry, dude. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna call you Stefan. That sounds fancy. Stefan Perry asks, "Hey, can you show how to do the text message pop-up on screen effect? I have a short I want to do, but I don't know how to do the effect." Well, luckily you came to the right place. So, jump in here from Four Express. And let's do this effect. Here we go guys in Hitfilm 4 Express like we always are. This effect is simple, clean looking and effective all at the same time. So enjoy. Now, down below in the description you'll find the link to a really good text bubble PNG that I found. So save that image and import it like I've done here. Do I have to mention that my footage is all set up in a comp? No. Probably not. So, let's move along the timeline until we find that point at which we want to receive a text. Here we are. Now drag that text bubble image onto your timeline at that spot. With it selected, click this icon over here to make it a composition, name it text, and hit enter. Actually you could name it whatever you want, like diapers, I don't know. Now about that color, here's a quick fix in a new segment I like to call Whenever you have any image of a solid color such as this one, simply apply the hue colorize effect to it and mess around with the hue dial in order to receive a color you like. You can then also adjust the lighten scale to get a lighter or darker version of that color. Right, back to the task at hand. Now that our color is sorted, let's get to work. Grab the text tool and draw a shape inside your bubble. Now type out whatever message you want. Then adjust the size and positioning to better fit your bubble. It's best to keep your text in a simple text-like font, such as Arial. Okay, now with the text tool again, draw another shape just above your bubble and type out the name of the person sending the message, followed by two forward slashes and then the time that the message was received at. Most TV shows and movies also follow this type of format. Resize the text to be smaller and in the corner. It also helps to make the text bold so that it stands out more. Time to animate. For the name text, we'll simply, at the start of the comp, turn on keyframing for the text's opacity, set it to 0, then move forward about 6 frames and set it back up to 100 again. For the main text, we want a typing sort of look. So, to accomplish this, duplicate your bubble image and drag it above your text layer. Also, set the opacity to 50% so we can see what we're doing. Now select the rectangle mask tool and draw individual rectangle masks over each of your text lines. Now hit the start of your comp and turn on keyframing for your first mask's position. Then move forward a few frames. A good way to time this is to count how many letters or spaces you have in your first line, then move that many frames forward. So let's just move forward say 10 frames and then drag the position of the mask to be outside of the bubble. Then at the point when your first line is fully visible, turn on keyframing for your second line and repeat the process. You can do this for as many lines as you have in your text. Once that's done, turn the opacity of the duplicate bubble right back up to 100. Ok guys, last step. Go back to your original footage comp and then select your text bubble layer and move the anchor point to be on the corner of the bubble that coincides with the speech bubbles point. Like so. Then scale and position your bubble into place. Now turn on keyframing for your bubble comp scale and set it to 0. Then move forward around 5 frames and set it to its final size. 
I should mention when fading out the bubbles, it's as simple as keyframing the opacity down as well as some subtle positioning keyframing to make the bubble go a bit down as it fades out, like this. Remember to turn on motion blur for all your comps and layers, and there you go, text messages, all done. There you go guys, it's actually quite a bit of source material you can pull from, I know they did it non-stop, they did it in House of Cards a lot, a lot of shows they do these type of effects so you can actually see what's happening, it gives more personality to the characters instead of just showing the screen, you know could be bad quality. I thought we could keep it a nice, chilled, you know, an easy effect for this week because we are going on hiatus because of our 15th episode. You know, like I find a mid-season break, not for too long, just one week, and then we'll be back the following week with more effects. So, yeah, keep those requests coming. I have about, like, 26 different requests I have to get through. So, yeah, quite a bit of stuff to choose from, but I will see you guys in the next episode. Oh, social medias. Over there. Over there. I don't know, Editor Waste is gonna do those. <sighs> Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. I'll see you in two weeks time. Bye.